Hey guys, I'm here bringing you uh, Makeup Essentials. These are products and tools that I believe everyone should have in their makeup bags um, to look and feel beautiful any day. Okay, so let's get started. A uh, makeup product that I believe everyone should wear, makeup or no makeup, it's a moisturizer, facial moisturizer. And I use the Olay Complete All Day um, UV Moisturizer with SPF 15. Uh, when I get out of the shower, immediately my face is just feeling dry and icky. So I just, you know, put some moisturizer on and immediately my face is just like, you feel relief and just healthy and moisturized and just yummy feeling. Um, so guys, I urge you, please wear moisturizer before your makeup. It will m make your skin look beautiful and flawless and it will be so much healthy because you don't want your skin to be all gross and, cr and like crusty and, and dry. It won't make your makeup look any beautiful. Another product that I believe is, is essential in your makeup bag, it's um, concealer. And mine is a Revlon's Photo Ready Concealer in shade 003. Can you see that? Okay. Um, and, you know, on days that you just don't want to add foundation or that you just want to go very light on your makeup, um, you could just add some uh, concealer. Maybe you didn't get enough sleep, you have uh, under eye circles, and um, or maybe you have, you know, some problem areas. You have a pimple or, or some dark spots that you want to cover up. This is just perfect enough. Um... This concealer in particular, I love it. It's very creamy. It goes on very smoothly. It's very easy to blend. It's very blendable. And you know, I mean, look at the size. It's tiny. You just It's like a lipstick. Just put it in your pocket and go. Um, and it's definitely wonderful because it, you know, it covers up those areas that you don't want anyone else to see. Okay, so for the next product, it's um, actually a... Uh, product that not many people consider essential, not many people have discovered it yet, um, but I know I didn't until about a year ago, um, and then I realized how amazing this product is and the difference it can make to your to your overall look, and that's a bronzer. It cracked, I don't know, it probably, I dropped it too hard or something on the floor, it, um, but this this particular bronzer, it's uh, Went and Wild in Goddess, and it's just, bronzer is just this product that, it aside from giving you contour and making you look slimmer, it just, it gives your face this overall glow, and this, this, it will make you look beautiful, it will give you this very bronzy um, glow, and it's just, you know, it's no big deal. It's just pat and, you know, swipe it all over your face and there you go. Um, and honestly, this, you could use it if probably you don't want to wear foundation again. Um, this gives you slight amount of coverage and it's just, it'll look, make your face look very flawless and very beautiful and gorgeous and natural. Okay, so this next product, I just, I can't live without. It's one of my all-time favorites, and I need it, and I have to wear it every single day, or else I'll just go nuts. And that's a uh, blush. And this is uh, CoverGirl's blush in classic pink. And it just, blush, I think everyone should have blush, because it just, it gives you that beautiful pinky, um, natural color to your cheeks and it just it gives you this healthy look and everyone just wants to look healthy and this is the way to go this is beautiful you're just gonna look so natural and you know it definitely works you know if 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 I want to go out and I don't want to wear any makeup on you know those days um I still put on some blush and then I'm ready to go and I'm very confident that I look beautiful and healthy. So um, that's my all-time, all-time essential product. Uh, next are 
mascaras. This, just like the blush, is something I cannot live without. I need mascara because mascara just it it gives your eyes this like this brightening effect. Um, it just it makes them look wider and, and beautiful. Like your eyelashes when they have mascara, they just look so much fuller and so much thicker. Um, and and it just it's it's really wonderful. So. Um, I have Voluminous. This is one of my favorites. It's L'Oreal Voluminous in Black Brown. And um, then another one that I really use that not many people know about this little um, product. And that's uh, Mascaras in Clear. This one's CoverGirl in Clear. Um, and, you know, on those days that you just don't want to put on much makeup, you just want to look completely natural. You don't want people to know you have mascara on. That's that's when you pull this little beauty out. You just, you know, put it on. It goes on clear. It dries off clear. But it gives your eyelashes, it fans them out and makes them um, look fuller and very beautiful. So this is definitely a good product that I recommend, especially... For those teens that don't want to wear makeup yet, don't want people to know you're wearing makeup, this is a perfect product. Some clear mascara. Another makeup essential that I think everyone should have, and it's something that I recently discovered, it's um, eyebrow filler. You know, it's just a, filling, uh, a color to fill in your eyebrows. Maybe you want to use an eyeshadow, maybe you want to use an eyebrow pen. Um, whatever you like, but I personally, I'm using uh, just a normal eyeshadow. It's Revlon's Matte. The shade is 009. And so, um, it's just, I chose something, it's, it's probably a little bit lighter than just two shades from my hair. It's probably more like three shades lighter. Um, but, you know, it's just... It's subtle what you're doing. You're adding a little bit amount of product on your eyebrow. And yet, the clear difference it makes in your face. It just, it frames your face. It gives you definition. And, I mean, I just use, I just have a, I have no idea where I got this from. Um, but it's just a very natural, not at all defined angle. Um, and, you know, I just dab it on here and then you know gently just swipe it over my eyebrows and it just it gives them this beautiful this darker definition and it's just it makes a difference in your whole face um next is um white eyeliner i know probably everyone has a dark eyeliner probably this one's mac um but not many people know about the white. White is wonderful to use um, because it just it gives the illusion that you, of a brighter eye, of a bigger eye. So you know maybe you're tired, you're very sleepy, um, you didn't get enough sleep, and your eyes just smaller, and you want them people to look, to think that you're wide awake, or you just want the effect of the doe eye just some white eyeliner I know it may seem kind of scary you know thinking that people are gonna see some white there um, but trust me it's just a very nice trick to have and this one I just bought at uh, Sally's Beauty Supply I'm not really sure the price I got for it I think it was like $2.99 maybe $1.99 um, but it's definitely a really a must have I, I think okay and so uh, for makeup tools that I think are essential um, one of them is definitely a good blush brush I suggest that everyone splurge on a blush brush if you're if you're like me you know I wear blush every single day so I have to have a good blush brush um, 
This one is actually from Sephora. It's a, one of Sephora's professional. And it's the Angled Blush Brush in number 40. And it's just, it's has this beautiful, this wonderful density to it. And it's slightly angled, so it gives you that nice angle for, for application. And, you know, the density of it is just very important because you... I honestly, I hate using these little brushes that come with the with the blushes. They're tiny. They have no density. It's like if you apply on it, it doesn't do anything. Look at that. I mean, it's tiny. This could be more used in your eyes than in your cheeks. But this is just it. So much more coverage. It just it just goes so well. You just give it a couple swipes, and that's it. You're good to go. So I definitely recommend everyone splurge on a good blush brush. Another tool that I highly recommend is actually, it's new for me too, um, and that's the e.l.f. powder brush. And it's this big, thick um, brush. It's, it's a flat brush, and it's it, it's got very nice soft bristles, and this is my favorite tool to use with a bronzer. You just kind of, I use the, the corners of it, just dip it in there, then go for the contouring. And then once I'm done contouring my face, I just, you know, I tap it on like that, blow off any excess and just, you know, uh, blend it all over my skin. And it's just phenomenal that, you know, the effect that these two, products can use the this tool on this product it's just it's wonderful it just it just gives you that nice sheer color another product uh, another brush that I believe everyone should have in their makeup kit it's um it's an angled brush and it could be any angled brush uh, this one in particular is um, I've had it for five years it's my favorite angled brush and, you know, I actually dug this one out of a paint, um, paintbrush kit that I used to have. Um, and it's great. I love it. Um, I usually use this after, you know, doing my eyeliner. If I use a, a, a pencil eyeliner or cream or gel eyeliner, just, you know, grab, grab a dark color right here, probably black. And just go over that same line with the powder, and it will just seal in in your eyeliner, and it was just it gives it long lasting uh, power to your eyeliner. So definitely recommend that angled brush. So my next product is an eyelash curler. Um, I know these are scary. A lot of people can think of them as a torture device. Don't be afraid of them. Um, they look scary, but they're really not. Just, you know, if you learn how to use them probably, properly, they will just give your eyelashes this beautiful curl to them. Just make them, you know, kind of uh, curl upwards and just give this, this bright and wide-eyed effect to your eyelashes. Just, you know, curl them before you apply some mascara and it'll just give them your eyelashes a really pretty um, look and that's it for makeup tools my last uh, makeup essential product is um, lip balms okay this one is um, the mocha rose by the rosebud company rosebud perfume company sorry um, I actually bought this one at Urban Outfitters, and it just, it smells so good. It smells like, like mocha, like chocolate, with a little bit of, like, roses. It's just beautiful. It's just, and it's, it's such a wonderful smell. Oh my god, I love it. I could just eat it. And, or, and, you know, this is also one of my favorites. It's the EOS, um lip balms and you know a good lip balm chapstick um 
one of those Burt's Bees. They're all good. It'll just give your lips, uh, it will moisturize your lips. It'll give them this fuller look and it will, you know, it will be refreshing to you when you don't have them chapped. Just apply this before uh, your lip gloss, your lipstick, or just apply it, you know, on its own. But I definitely recommend having a lip balm in your collection. And that's it for my makeup essentials. Um, I hope you really like this video. These are all products that you use on a daily basis. And I think that they will give everyone such beautiful glows to their face. And it will bring out their natural beauty and make their makeup look that much prettier. Okay, have a good day. Bye.